everyone, today is Tuesday, May 25th, 2010. I'm Ryan, and you're watching the Baby Beaver Bunch. This week we're talking about being single and how you feel when you're single, and if you go from relationship to relationship and all that jazz. Um, so, when I'm single, uh, how I feel is really dependent on who I was with prior to being single. Because if I was with someone who was just like a complete dick wipe, and I would just feel so relieved. <laughs> I'd just be like, hell yeah, I'm single now. But if I was with someone that I really, really cared about, then I would be pretty much devastated. And like, a uh, total wreck. Uh, I've been that way uh, twice so far. Uh, I haven't been like, hell yeah, yet. <laughs> but I hope I, I'm not like that one day. Um, I don't jump from relationship to relationship because, uh, I don't know, like, in between relationships I kind of become a little bit of an asshole and a little bit of a Casanova. So I'm too busy being preoccupied with, um, you know, the whole idea of screw the world, I don't need anyone else. Um, so I, I guess that's not... Well, that is attractive to a lot of people, but, um, when, when I'm single, I, I like, well, I usually convince myself that I really like being single. Uh, I, I don't really feel the need to be in a relationship anymore because, well, from the ages of about 7 to about 14, I really felt like I needed to be in a relationship because I really wanted to, uh, have that fairy tale thing when I'm someone's knight in shining armor. I don't really want to be that anymore. I don't really feel the need to. And I've kind of realized over time that people in my age bracket, no offense, um, just a uh, majority of the people that I've known kind of bad at relationships. It's at the experimentation stage and the testing out the waters and finding out how to be in a relationship stage so they do nearly everything wrong and they don't know how to be in a relationship because you don't say I love you within the first day that you're going out with someone and you don't break up with someone for some tall five foot eleven blonde haired blue eyes man after you say I love you. You don't do that. <laughs> um, so I, I've come to realize that most of the people in my age bracket, uh, although I've dated uh, only older people, uh, a majority of the people around are stupid, and uh, they, they, a lot of them uh, think of themselves a lot. Like, they'll be in their relationship for themselves instead of for the relationship itself. And they wouldn't have a give and take, they would just have a take, 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 or give, 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 fuck you, don't take, uh, don't give that to me. I won't take that. So, excuse my French, of course. Um, what else? I think that's it. So yeah, I'm not really, I'm not really that codependent, and when I'm single, I kind of bathe in being single because uh, I, I don't know, I don't know why. And yeah, I don't jump from relationship to relationship. The uh, smallest gap between my relationships have been two or three months. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I want to show you guys something. So, it's really hot outside. It's like just turning summer, which is weird in Colorado. Well, it's not too weird, but it's weird to have that many consecutive days really hot. Because usually it's like 90 degrees and then the next day it's snowing. Not kidding you. I'm totally not kidding you. Um, but check this out. I got, you know how I always wear that awesome shoelace wristband? Well, I got this awesome little farmer's tan. I don't know if you can see. Hold on. This awesome little farmer's tan. Wow, I look dark. Can you see that? Yeah, well, it's cool. I don't know. I think it is. Yeah. Okay, I just totally got off task. I'm sorry. Um, bye guys.